In today's video, I'll show you how to create a breakout scan like Christian Kualamagi for completely free using Finviz. But before we do that, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading and investing will be linked down in the description. Let's get into it. So if you're watching this strategy, I would assume that you already know who he is. And the reason why you want to follow his strategy, it's because he's one of the biggest trader out there that's public with his strategy. A lot of big traders don't want to share what they know about the market but he was kind enough to really share the setup that he trades. You can go on his website and he has a really big detailed breakdown on everything you need to know about his setup. And also if you want to know how big he trades in 2021, his account was at 82 million. And there's a lot of information about who he is and how much he made because he was the 15th biggest earner in Sweden. And this is public knowledge. You can find it online. So when it comes to a strategy, the main thing that he trades are breakout on larger cap because he has such a big account. But you can take his exact strategy and just apply it to small cap stock. It's going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to go over the setting to find really big trade like we had on SMCI when he broke out of that 356 and then went all the way to 1100. We also had AMD, which was a really good trade when it broke out of this range right over here and then it went all the way to 220. We had Nvidia that was also a very good one when it broke out of this range over here and then it went from 500 to 900. These were more obvious because it was a sector so it was semiconductor but sometimes the first breakout in a sector is not the easiest one to find so that's why we do need screener to show us what's really happening in the market and how we can find these plates. How we're gonna do this is using the screener on Finviz, as I mentioned in the intro of this video, because it's completely free. By the way, if you enjoyed this video and you're getting value from it, don't forget to like and subscribe. I also did link all the best tools for trading and investing down in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get back in the video. Something that's annoying is Finviz has a lot of ads. You're gonna see pop-ups all the way on your screen. And if you want to remove a lot of them, what I do for anything that's trading related is I use this browser called Torium. It's a light version of Chrome, so you don't have the, all the bells and whistle and it also blocks all the ads by itself. So the only ads you're going to be able to see is the one from Finviz actually and not from like random website, which is a lot better and it's also a lot faster if you're looking for a faster browser. So the next thing we're going to do is click on screener. And what he mainly looks for is stock that are leading in some sector or some time of time period. So the best way I found to do this um, using this free tool was really about going into all. And then I did over here, it was the performance. So you want to look for performance, it's going to be right over here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look first of all for the week. So you want something that's up at least 10% on the week. And then you want some volume. So the current volume is going to be right here. So we can see current volume. And then I want something over 5 million. This is for me. If you want to pick something wider because you look at more expensive stock, look at 1 million. The next thing I want to do is look at the volatility on the week. I want it to be over 3%. So I want something with a decent range. This sometimes you can just add it to your filter and remove it just to make sure you're not missing anything. But generally speaking, it's going to be the best thing to see what has more volatility and not something that's just not moving or anything like that. And then the next thing we can look for market cap. I'm not going to do market cap yet. I'm just going to go to the one I have for me for the week because I did save it. And if you want to save something when you create the filter you want it, just go into save screen and then you can just save it over here with the name that you want. And even if you have the free version, it's going to remember the screen that you created, which is amazing. So going back to the screener we created, this is going to be the weekly. The weekly is going to be more for stuff that are in trend and having momentum at the moment, but it's really good for shorting stock, which is not really his strategy. But if you're looking to find parabolic, it's going to help you do that. So I'm looking for a week over 10% over 10 million and like I said week over 3% in volatility and the next thing you want to do is just click on performance at the bottom right over here and then you're going to be able to click performance per week which is going to be right over here so you want to make sure that you're following this order so the top leader for the week and then you're going to be able to go in TA 
and just see all the tickers that are making this big move for completely free and be able to follow them. From that point on, when I have a list or I see all the tickers I'm supposed to see, I really just scroll through pretty quickly, you know, everything that's happening or everything that's in play. And then when something is important or looks like really in play, I'll go into my platform and I'll set some alerts at the price that I want to see them. For example, ACB, you know, I can see that it's in play. If we get above this 761, I want to look for a continuation trade. So I'll set an alert at 744, knowing that 761 is going to be the breakout. This I won't do in Finviz. I'll do it in my TWS platform just because that's the way I do it. But going back in the screener, uh, we're going to create the second one that we need. So because we do have the one week, so this is for mainly what's in play at the moment. We will also want to look for stuff that's been in play for like a month, which is going to be really important. And this, what you're going to do is going to go month and up 10% and the volume, you can definitely want to put it lower to what you think a price or a stock in your category should fit. So let's say over 1 million, week over 3%. And then if you want to add a market cap, it's going to be right over here. And you can also do it for free. You can't just do the custom one. So for me, I look for 10% over 1 million, week over 3%. And then what I do is I go back to performance and then I click on the month, see how they're performing on the month. And when this is set up, I'll do the same thing. I'll save the screen on my monthly top gainer. It's going to be this one, monthly top gainer. And then I can go back to screen when it's saved and I'll do the same thing. I'll go into TA and I'll be able to just scroll through what's in play and what's really moving the market when it comes to stocks. And we can see we have a lot of small cap. If it's not really what you're looking to trade, the best thing to do is just add a market cap. So you're going to add maybe small over 300 million and then it's going to remove, you know, everything that's a low float as we call it. And you're going to see more like the real stuff and you no know, bigger company, you're still going to have the cheap stock, but they're going to have at least a decent market cap and you're going to be able to really follow what's moving. So this is going to be your one month. Then you're going to go and move on to the quarterly. So quarter is going to be the same thing. I want to see quarter over 10%. The 10% is just to filter out everything that's not really strong in the market. But we always do the same thing. When we have set up the filter we want, we're going to go to performances. And then this one is going to be by quarter. You're going to put it um, descending. And then you're going to save it to save screen. And next thing you know, you're going to do the same thing and go to TA. And now we can see, right, we have bigger stock. We have VKTX, that's in play. We have SMCI, that's, you know, in an interesting range. OCGN, ARQT. Now we're seeing, start, starting to see some bigger company or bigger market cap are the leader for the three months. And we can see that. All right. So right now on the one month, it's only the small cap that are really moving. But we can see on the three month, we still have set up if we get back to higher prices that are going to be there. So you're just going to be able to set some alerts and sit on your hand and be patient. And what I'll do is I'll go over here and do the same thing after I save this one. And then I'll do half a year and then I'll do the same thing. 10% go to performances and also half year, put it in this order. Then I'll go into my TA and then I'll do the same thing. I'll scroll and just set some alerts at higher prices. See, as soon as something hit, then I'll know that it's really in play and there's maybe news or it's just breaking out above an important level. And you can see it's really showing you what's leading the market. Like the crypto coin is still in play. So maybe they set an alert around the 270 for a 280 breakout if we get to that price. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.